Hi there. If I had not known that the great Frank James Marshall actually suffered playing this as white against Carlos Jesus Torre Repeto in 1925, I probably would not have included it in this collection of chaps. But if it can bring down Marshall, it can bring down anyone. This chap is called the Mexican Folklorico. After d4, knight f6, c4 and knight c6. This is the Mexican defence and it was brought into chess theory in 1925 by Torre Repeto. I'd barely heard of it as a youth and I still know next to nothing. It was in the same year, 1925, that Torre unleashed his spectacular, unbelievable windmill trap on the great Lasker. And that's a video you can check out under the Torre attack. And here Marshall tries to punish Black for his unconventional opening with d5 hitting the knight. And after knight e5, Torre tries to strengthen his chain of pawns and plans to deploy his bishop onto b2 with a great diagonal. After e6 by black, bishop b2, Torrey comes out with the bishop checking on b4. And after knight d2, black has a fantastic position after knight e4. I don't know what Marshall was doing here. He's not playing like an American champion. And now that bishop has to concede on b2 that he's made a terrible mistake, has to head back to c1. But after queen f6, he basically resigned in this position. There's too much going on for black. There's a mate threat on f2. This diagonal hitting the rook on a1 is uh, unbelievable as well. After knight f3, the game might have continued. Knight to g4. And we've got the queen hitting the rook. And we've got the knight hitting f2. Maybe rook b1. Obviously black can capture on f2. But how about queen f5? Again, putting the queen on a diagonal against the rook. And the game might have continued something like this, but it's hopeless for white. Queen c2 still allows knight takes d2. After queen takes queen, black has a discovered knight takes on f3. This is beautiful. Check. After king d1, knight takes on f2. Check. Forcing king c2, knight d4. Check. Obviously forking the queen as well. Not that it matters. The queen's already arm pre by the pawn on e6. After king b2, black can continue with knight d1 even. Forcing the king back to a1. And then black can recapture the queen even with the e-pawn with a phenomenal advantage. So this has been the Mexican folklorico in the Mexican defense. Hope you found it informative and thanks for watching. Bye bye.